Hi Liz, it's Ian here. Liz, so it occurs to me that I, I'm, it might be useful if I show you an old trick. And you know what they say. So, so let's just quickly have a look. If we, if we look at our project, we've got our, our wetlands layer as a shapefile that has been created. And if we have a look at that shapefile, it's sitting back here in a vector folder. Okay, so there are the files for that shapefile. So if you're going to um, give this to Sonia for her to work on, you would uh, yeah, copy these across and give those to her. And then she would open it on, on her system. But if she opened it on her side, she would get this. Okay, if we added this wetland across, when she opens it, it comes through blank. Okay, so it just gets a whole lot of random default colors and it does, it's not labeled. The uh, attribute form isn't set up because it hasn't been set up for that particular layer yet. So what we want to do, I'm just, just going to remove this, is we are going to take your settings that you've saved, well, that you've created, and we're going to save them as a QML uh, or a style file. And then we'll copy it, copy it into the identical location, the same location as the wetlands, with the same name, so that when she adds it on her side, it pulls through those values from that QML. So let me show you how to do that. So what you are going to do is you're going to go to your wetlands layer, just right click on it, and then go to properties. Okay, then you want to go to style, and then save style, and then you navigate to that wetlands folder, yeah, there it is there so i'm already there and just give it the exact same name as the other files in that shape file you can say save and okay and then okay so now if we remove this and add that same shape file again what it does is it reads that qml and pulls through all of those settings so now when you open it up and you go to layer properties you can see the symbologies has been pulled through, the labels have been pulled through with a buffer and then labeling on condition, and also those attributes. Okay, so the attributes with the various condition, well, the, the various settings for the various fields that have been pulled through as well, just as you had set them up previously. Okay, and then when you, if you finish and you have a look in your um, folder again, you'll see that there's a new file called QML, and that's what's been saved, and that's what the program is reading to pull through those styles. Okay, so oh, good luck with that. I think that will help you quite a lot. Okay, cheers.